Hey guys, it's Cass. Um, welcome to my October wrap up where I'm sorry I'm going to have my phone in my face like this, but I'm going to use it as another form of a mic because <laughs> I think my camera is just a little too far away. In my monthly wrap ups, I usually cover games I've played, books I read this month or am reading this month, have read this month, I guess and just life updates and I really like doing this because it allows me to hang on to parts of my year and stuff that otherwise I only jot down in my journal that I don't go back and read so I like having a visual representation of just where I'm at and what's going on you know in my pretty much day-to-day throughout the year. Um, however, in this one, I want to declare that the book part is going to be separate. I like book review will be separate this time and I might change that up in the future. We'll see how it goes. However, I think I want to, I said, however, already, but I think I want to make these year wrap ups have footage almost like a vlog style. Um, so that's what I'm probably trying to keep up in the future. I will mention the books I'm reading here, but the reviews for them will come in a separate video. Um, and I believe for the month of October, it's coming out after, but when it does come out, I'll try to iCard it up here. On that note, let's jump into all the things that have changed this month. And I have to look it up because yes, I do keep a list on my phone. Otherwise I will forget. First, quickly, I will talk about the books that I'm currently reading and show them to you. Like I said, book review coming in an entirely different video. But right now, currently, I made like a deal with myself or a goal to read. I, this is the worst part because I don't have another hand to show you, but I have another book down here that is also called Cassandra. Um, but it's almost the end of the month and I haven't even finished... If you can see, there's a little blue bookmark in there. I haven't even finished this one, let alone started the other one. So I have a lot of reading to do in the next couple of days to push through to get this done because I really want to follow through with it. But so far, this book, Cassandra Speaks, is incredible and I'm enjoying a lot. And it's putting a lot of things that I think we think about in the feminine sphere of things and talking about how it could really change the world and I'm eating this up and loving it. So excited to review this when it's done. The other one that I'm supposed to read for this month is uh, Cassandra, a novel and four essays. This one's slightly a bit thicker than the other one. Um, This one's by Krista Wolf. And I have to read all of this in the next like couple days to do a review before the end of the month. So wish me luck. I think next we'll talk about the games that I've been playing this month, which seems pretty obvious if you look at my channel because I have played them all in like a long form playthrough, walkthrough, full game, no commentary kind of release, which is just a preferred way for me to release gaming related content most of the time. But Fran Bow came out, but I actually played that at the end of September to get it ready for October. So I don't really count that one in here. Another one that I played immediately after was Little Miss Fortune. Um, And that was, I guess, not necessarily a sequel. I think I called it a sequel, but it's from the same exact creators of Fran Bow. And there's a lot of Fran Bow imagery in Little Miss Fortune. But I loved Little Miss Fortune. Welcome to my game. The rules of this game are simple. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. Oh, that's really sweet of you. I'm going out to play, mommy! (gasps) I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It's probably just your imagination. 
Next was a game I kind of randomly found on Steam called Year Walk, and I had heard about like the folklore in the game and kind of year walking just through like history related things. So that was a cool one to play. Honestly, one of the games that it has jump scares in it, which I know is really cheap, but scared me more than anything else has scared me this entire year. So that gets a thumb up, thumbs up from me. And then the last two is a one and two version of a game and it's creepy tale. Um, and yeah, I'll throw a little trailer bits up here for those. But those games were just fun, quick. I'm, I'm a sucker for platform and puzzle, and I'm a sucker for horror. So all of these games this entire month that have come out, again, they're on my channel. They're under my indie uh, game playthrough uh, playlist. Um, but they like have checked all the boxes of everything I love about games. So hell yeah to that. Lastly is some of the biggest sections of this entire wrap-up for me this month and the reason I decided to go vlog style about things. Um, and this year started out, not this year, <laughs> this month <laughs> started out really phenomenal with just love and things of feeling loved, I guess, is like an overarching theme of October for me which is like everything I needed so much after how this year has been. Um, but to start, we went, it was my birthday, and every year on my birthday, I go to a pumpkin patch, and I get a pumpkin, and I go through a corn maze, and it's like that's all I want for my birthday every year, and then I get myself a cupcake or some kind of treat. Um and that's all I've done for the last like six years, and it's all I ever want. I don't want gifts, but the pumpkin patch this year was the best one I think I've ever been to. And the fun didn't stop there because for another birthday celebration, my mom took us, or took me, I guess, and took my family 
out to go bowling and then we went to a place for dinner where it was a really fancy place in my opinion um but some of the best food I think I've had in a while I say that about a lot of places like the food I had in Louisiana was good but for an entirely different reason um and the food I had in Taos New Mexico for our honeymoon last year was phenomenal but again for an entirely different reason I think it's like circumstantial to the places that you're at in your life maybe maybe not (laughs) great food so I went there the birthday celebration continued like this whole beginning week of this month was just amazing because I had so many people pour love and kindness and the most appreciative words to me that I've like felt so loved this year, that whole first week of October. And I took, I took off Thursday, I don't work Fridays, Monday and Tuesday. So I had that like, what, five, six days off in a row. Um, so that was nice. Um, and then on top of that, like it rolled into our anniversary, our one year anniversary of being married and then six years together. And so that was just like the cherry on top of everything. Since then, it's been rough, but <laughs> let me finish because we also, on um, the weekend before our anniversary went on one of the Colorado little trains in a train ride here, which I've never done in my life, having basically lived here my entire life, being born and raised here. I can't believe I've never done some of the stuff that I'm doing now in Colorado as an adult because I grew up here. So it, some of it just feels like, you know, if you're from this area, you should have done a lot of the touristy type things, um, you know, before you were an adult, but that isn't the case with me. I traveled quite a bit as a child and teenager and stuff, but it was never kind of around the state. It was to other states. So I'm ticking those things off now as an adult, which is really cool. And the train ride, it was the coldest day we've had so far. So we were definitely bundled up, but, um, it was such a great cool ride such a cool vibe because there are so many mines in the area and there's like mines we went over closed down mines of course I think there's still some in operation more towards like Cripple Creek Colorado um, which have like a mine museum and all this kind of stuff but there's so many mines and I learned something new which I didn't catch a picture of it but they talked on the train about the deposits in the rock in the mountain and you can see that like the purplish which you know now knowing duh makes entire sense but at the time I didn't know that like deeper colored vein through the sides of the mountains the rocky mountains and stuff here is silver deposits it's silver and lead deposits and it's like I never knew that so I'm learning something new which is something I'm always gonna love so that was incredible from that train ride. We absolutely froze, but my mom was top tier, bringing blankets for us on top of all of our winter gear we were wearing.
guess like the only other real updates about this month, which I don't have any cool clips for, (laughs) is the fact that I quit sugar again. (laughs) And I say again, like I've done it periodically before because it doesn't make me feel good. Um, But I'm doing it like, I guess, more extreme hardcore right now, which is interesting because if you were a little bit closer, like I am not an acne prone person. I'm very blessed in that way. Um, but my skin is freaking out, cutting out the sugar. And it's really fascinating to me. Sugar doesn't make me feel good. It hurts my stomach. It gives me the worst nightmares if I have sugar before I go to sleep. So that was like a big telltale sign to me that I need to ixnay the sugar. And it's been okay. I like haven't struggled with it too bad, but I think... A big part of it this time is coming from a place of like just taking care of my health more. Um, On Friday, which to me is tomorrow, but by the time it would have been, I think I'm posting this on Sunday, so it would have been the Friday before, I'm going to get a gym membership for the first time in my life, which probably sounds crazy to some people because some people have done that forever, but... I've always been more involved in like sports of tennis and yoga related things, which I still do, but I want to do more like toning and strength training and just see if that can be a different outlet for me to enhance taking care of myself more. Um, So I'm going to have my first ever gym membership. And anyway, I digress. I was talking about sugar (laughs) I need to cut it out. I think it's about my health. And I think the reason it's been so easy this time to make that decision is because I'm not motivated by losing weight or being skinny, which is something I have touched on throughout my channel. But having a prior ED and then now being so like overcorrective that I'm the heaviest I've ever weighed in my entire life. It's been a roller coaster of things, but it's been such a necessary and kind of why didn't I do this sooner step of cutting out sugar? Because it's it serves no nutritional value. And I think coming at things from a different perspective of health versus weight loss or old bad ED related habits, um or ideals of appreciation of things in that aspect, it is kind of a very new journey to me, which does feel weird to be now 33, now that my birthday has passed, I am officially 33, um, to be having these experiences in my life for like the first time. Um, And the reason I guess I say that's weird to me is because I've gone through a lot of really crappy things and really dramatic things. Um, in my life as have so many other people I'm not trying to say I'm special at all but it's interesting to be like doing these like basic life things for the first time so I'm I'm loving that and I'm like equally fascinated by it so I'm hopeful in my like healthy more like fitness related journey so we'll see where I'm actually like weightlifting and trying to get stronger I think is my biggest wrap up here is to say I want to get stronger and I want to be healthier and that's so motivating to me to change bad habits so I'm excited to see where that goes apparently thumbs up is my thing this month um and then the last little note here (laughs) is the reason I have slacked on reading these books and the high of the beginning of the month with all this stuff and birthday and anniversary. I don't know if I had. We spent the day in Boulder because we weren't able to get away. We didn't have anyone to watch the kiddo.
we didn't do the tradition that we said we were going to do. Like, so things felt off about that. I lost our, like, I'm backtracking really quick, but I lost our, (laughs) I feel so sad even saying this. I lost the hard drive that had all the raw footage in our wedding film when the videographer was like the most important thing for me to pay for in our wedding. And so I felt really sheepish, not stupid, but sheepish about it and disappointed in myself. Um, Thankfully, since filming this, our videographer has pulled through as I figured he would. As someone who does videography and video editing myself, I keep backups on backups of all footage and final films and everything together. So I never doubted that he would. Um, So he came through with our wedding film when we watched it the other night. And it was wild to think that was a year ago. Like my entire hair was teal. I wore the most floral dress. Um, Maybe I'll throw snippets of it in here, but more than likely not but we'll see. Maybe it's something I should share. I lost the stuff so everything this year just kind of felt off with that and then again for anyone who's been around on my channel for a while knows that I um my second son was stillborn trigger warning I guess for this section I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot but it's actually November 16th so it's not really till next month but it's eight years this year and eight years ago at this time was when I was finding everything out that he wasn't going to live and all of this kind of stuff and just perpetual family things. And I've been having dreams about people that I've had trauma with this year. Um, And so it's just like really put me in the mindset. And as much as I come alive and fall, which is why I said that in the beginning, the reason that I think sometimes it isn't the most helpful for my mental health on a personal level Um, is because it's just a sometimes deeper part of the year for me when there's a lot of trauma associated with this year just from the past of loss of my son. It's when I packed up a U-Haul several years ago and a couple hours with my mom, my realtor, and my sister-in-law, and I left my house and the abusive situation and started the whole process of divorce and getting a DVPO and moving into my own place that I've ever lived by myself for the first time in my life. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff wrapped up in this year and uh, the perpetual forever work of healing trauma, I guess, is just a real theme that's like nailed home to me this year. Um, but I'm powering through and October overall has been a phenomenal month. I am so excited for Halloween. Hall- Halloween to me is Christmas to other people. I will always go bigger and better for Halloween and I don't really care about Christmas, um, nor any other holiday. <laughs> Halloween is like my pinnacle. Um, but that's everything for the month of October. Unless something happens between now and Halloween. I guess you'll hear about it in November, but otherwise that's my October wrap up and I'm glad I filmed this today instead of yesterday when I was in a really crappy mood. 
today I feel thankful and grateful and at peace and I feel good and yeah so that's my October of this year wrap up hope you babes are well hope everyone had a good October let me know maybe your favorite thing that happened to you or let's chat in the comments um but I'll see you guys for the book reviews this month and then we'll be back into November of a more normal schedule where it's not so much gaming stuff and more book related things because that's where I personally thrive so Long outro done. I will see you babes for book review and in November and hope you have a good rest of October and hope you have an epic Halloween and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!